Bonjour and Bienvenue uh, from Quebec. Very warm Quebec. It is very shod today. Currently having a wander around uh, the plains of Abraham Park, which we'll explain the reason for soon. But first of all, I've got some petty treasures for you. Did you know, did you know Quebec only has 1.5% of its population speaks English as its, first, as its first language and about 40% speak both. I actually reckon that 1.5% English, uh, English speaking population is probably less than actually France, isn't it? Yeah. You think of all the expats in France and stuff, yeah. everyone lives there, yeah. Paris dead mixed. So I reckon this is actually Frencher than France. I bet it is, apart from lack of Peugeot cars. But every sign's in French, there's nothing in English anywhere. So there's that. Secondly, the the average age of people in Quebec is 43 and a half years old. Is it really? It's the oldest in all of Canada. You fit right in. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm older than that. What? It's taking the piss out of me. It heard me going up the mountain yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and did you know that because it is so Francais here, rather than the rest of Canada, uh, Quebec is a whole state, not just a city, but the whole state. They tried to leave Canada in 1995. Twice. They had, a, they had a referendum and they only failed by 0.4%. That's how much they didn't want to be part of English Canada. How much of the uh, entire Canadian population do you think is French? What kind of fraction? 20%. Yeah, not far off, it's a quarter. Hmm. So you always go, oh yeah, there's a, bit of, there's a bit of Canada that's French. It's actually a quarter of it. Hmm. And all of them speak French and not, and only less than half of the French ones speak English. I bet they all speak English, they just make out they don't. Yeah, they do. Not je n'aime pas. Yeah. So yeah, this is day six of the trip and it's going to be the first big city, isn't it, actually? Yeah. I've been to Halifax, I've been to little cities, but it's going to be the first yeah. big one. Big and shining stuff, but we'll get to that shortly after we've left this lovely green area. Really? We ought to do the whole of this video in French? Should we? Yeah. And I just plan to do that. Sign language? Just go, uh, <laughs> in between every word. Yeah. If you just sleep for the whole video, <laughs> and I just go, we are, uh, in uh, Quebec, and then walk around waving a, a flag that is blanc. <laughs> Walking with, backwards? Yeah, we've cracked, haven't we? <laughs> we've got it. The man who gave us Canada. Interestingly, according to my 1920s travel guide to Canada, Things Seen in Canada, the original inscription was, Here died Wolf Victorious. It's probably worth mentioning at this point because no one's going to know who Wolf is. That he was the guy in charge when we won a big battle here. The battle. At the for the yeah the Battle of Quebec in 1759. He died from wounds in that war, but he was the general. And yeah, he gave us this bit for a while. They had to shoot him three times to kill him. I just want to add that I think it is très bien of the French to actually keep that monument there after it became French. Because it did later become French, as we know. It's not, it's not very English now. But that guy who killed all the French people, they, they kept his name up there. I don't think we'd do that for anyone else. I suppose it's a little bit like the Kurds erecting a monument of Saddam Hussein. They wouldn't do it, would they? That'd be stupid. But the French have kept part of a bit of history. L'Histoire, I believe it's called. Hmm. Or, or is having a monument to Ragnar Lothbrok somewhere. Who the fucking hell is Ragnar who's, Lothbrok? He was the leader of the great heathen army that swept through Britain, making Britain Pretty much. What the fuck is a heathen Viking. army? What? What's a heathen army? We're not getting into it. <laughs> Zoot alone. Un bon chateau. We have now walked into the only walled city nord of Mexico. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Well, it is. In the old, the old city of Quebec. I'd also like to add that all French jokes aside, all the semi-stereotypical 
things you might come out with. For example, Dad said a second ago, French musket for sale, never fired, dropped once. Apart, aside from all that, the French have actually been tree hospitable. Oh, I've been yeah. here. But because we've gone north, like through New Brunswick and stuff, we've kind of gone more and more French as we've gone up. So it started off like they sounded Canadian when they spoke English, but then when they spoke French, sounded French. And you get to here, and they just, even when they speak English, they've got such a heavy French accent. Just a lot more French than I expected. For the first time, you feel like you're in a foreign country. Yeah. But it is Trey Trey Bow. Very nice. It's a lovely city, this, isn't it? Fantastic. Two things I've noticed. It is firstly a lot more touristy than it has been in Canada. But secondly, it's a lot more European, and that's definitely a compliment because Europe is brilliant. And we're now here at the place where the city got its name from. Do you know where it got its name from? No. It's an old native word, Quebec, with a K, that means where the river narrows. That one. Here's another one for you. You should know that hotel the most photographed hotel in the world. Really? The whole world. The Chateau Frontenac or something. And isn't it Bond? Then here we've got a tremendous old post office. There's loads of old stuff about. It's quite a nice change for sort of Canada. Loads of old historical European looking stone buildings. <sighs> Splendid. We've now driven out of the city and are wandering towards Quebec's resident water feature, Montmorency Falls. This is, in fact, a hundred feet higher than Niagara Falls and it flows at a rate of 35,000 litres a second. So it's pretty big. Near the big waterfall, there's this lovely, fun, steep trail that should take us all the way to the top for like a vantage point. <coughs> Why aren't you doing that? <laughs> I'm not rolling down. Don't you reckon? Well, I think I've leaked most of the way across Canada now. Yeah. <laughs> With my DNA in this soil everywhere. Ill fay sweltering. <sighs> Fucking toasty. I think I've made it. I've lost out somewhere though. Here he is. Now for some dad advice. Would you recommend that trail to fellow elderly? <laughs> uh, you gotta have a go. It's doable. It's hard work. And this is where you get to our laptop. And then, if you follow the trail all the way around, you get to a bridge that takes you up here. Two million litres of water every minute. It's nearly as fast as you're dripping. <laughs> so that is Quebec's 273 feet high waterfall. What do you reckon? Worth a trip? Yeah, definitely. It was hard work going up, up the uh, 
like 50 degree steep slope with just loose rocks to cling on to but when you get to the top it's well worth it that house number is 46 and a half <laughs> Right, so that's about that from Quebec. We've wandered, we've waterfalled, we've eaten. It's about sunset, so about bedtime, I reckon. How's your time been in the Frenchest place on earth? <laughs> it's been grand. Grand. I reckon, I reckon it's been ace. Old town's dead nice. Very Weather's nice. been good. People are nice. Actually, it is. It is like France, except they're willing to speak English yeah. when they talk to you. That's right. As we know, people in France probably can speak English just fine, they just choose not to. But it's been but dead nice. There's loads to do if you've got a few days to spare. I think it's been good. Look at all these. Ready for when, il pleut. <laughs> what would you rate Quebec out of 10? Well, I reckon Quebec is a good Eight out of ten. Um, it ain't got the appeal of. I mean, we ain't seen any bears, but I mean, as an historical place, we've learned a bit. Um, we've took her out after General Wolf. That was quite nice. Um, yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. I'd give it a solid nerf. 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 I think it's brilliant. I think it's a dead nice place. It's not as uh, congested as I expected, even with all the tourists. I think it's nice. I'd recommend it. But anyway, yeah, we're off home. See you in a bit. <laughs>